Hey everyone, uh, you remember I did the best videos of January and then the best videos of February and then I thought it would be better if I did this every two months. So here are the best YouTube videos of March and April of 2018. Uh, so they're in chronolog chronological order and uh, of course there's a playlist in the video description with all these videos so I'm gonna go through them real quick with um short to the point description so it's not too uselessly long uh, the first is why are progress bars wrong so often a question that i asked myself many times through the past years and there it is answered by take quickie very insightful the next is a let's play of getting over it by james and mike on cinema Sucker. So it goes about as well as you'd expect, and it's about as funny as you would expect. The next is the Moiré effect lights that guide ships home. A very um, interesting uh, science and technology and also history video uh, from Tom Scott uh, about uh, a very surprising system that is used in uh, navigation. And it's kind of a very low-tech um, lighthouse. I mean, it's it's really cool. The next one is Take On Me in 20 Style by 10 Second Songs featuring Seth Everman. So I'm assuming you're familiar with Seth Everman. And here he is uh, making a duo with 10 Second Songs. And it's Take On Me in 20 different styles. And very well done. And it's very funny. And if you liked it, uh, there's the equivalent on Seth Everman's channel. It's linked in this video's description. Uh, but this time it's All Star by Smash Mouth. Also quite funny, of course. The next one is The Broccoli Tree, A Parable by John Green on Vlog Brothers. It's, um, it's really short, so I, I won't really tell. It's about a photographer that starts photographing a tree and I'll let uh, the rest to you no spoilers because it's a really great video and it's short so um the next one is I react to mean comments by review bra the report of the week running on empty and it's a very funny video where review bra reacts to mean comments the next is uh, meme restaurant by critical uh, so, Critical has found a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo campaign, I, I don't, it's the same shit, for a meme restaurant. And uh, if you think meme restaurant is a bad idea, well, it's even worse than you think. And um, Critical makes fun of it in a very funny way. Next is 11 things you didn't know you could make by Brothers Green Eats, and everything is in the title, it's uh, 11 things. Uh, I was very glad to find this video because they explain how to make Japanese mayonnaise, and um, before I, I had very confusing information about that, and it's not exactly like the thing that you find easily in supermarkets, even in a big European capital like here, it's really hard to find Japanese mayonnaise, so... Uh, I assume that for most people in the world, it's for, it's for going to be really uh, useful. There's uh, mostly sauces and condiments, but uh, it's it's a really cool video and uh, it's useful, of course. The next is a test of Yakuza Six by Critical again. Really funny test of the video game Yakuza Six by Critical. That's it. Next one is. Uh, on the first Wifi's channel, it's a Sean in the Wild video, and it's uh, Sean Evans and uh, Joji, formerly known, the, the artist formerly known as Filthy Frank, reviewing uh, the Japanese snacks that they can find in the some US city, I forget which one, and uh, it's, it's, it's quite cool and entertaining, and um, yeah, and, and it even made me want to try some of these snacks, because it sounded... Pretty cool. The next one is Molly making pan roasted brine pork chops on the Bon Appetit test uh, kitchen. And uh, yeah, I hesitated 
before including this one because it seems like a really long and complicated way to make pork chops which are usually something that you make uh, quite fast and easy. I mean not fast because pork has to cook for a, quite a long time to be edible but uh, yeah it's uh, it's a really long and convoluted way uh, to prepare pork chops but um, it looks really delicious and um, maybe if one day I, I want I have some time to waste uh, I definitely try this and um, Maldi looks really hot in this video and it doesn't matter at all because it's a recipe but you know it's a plus Next is a video uh, on the Dong channel by Michael Stevens, who is talking about homonyms and what homonyms are and all the the different kinds, because there are different kinds of homonyms. And it's quite... Uh, since uh, he started making that fucking uh, stupid YouTube Red show called... Um, I forgot the name. Uh, it's not brain candy, it's the other thing. Uh, minefield. I fucking hate Minefield. I don't get it. It's um, some kind of... He's trying to make, what, science drama? Uh, I hate... I hate Minefield. And now the, the Vsauce 1 channel is more or less dead. But that's what you would think if you don't know the Dong channel. And actually, Michael, in the past few weeks or months, has been uploading a lot of good... Vsauce like videos to the Dong channel and this one is a pretty cool one about well language. The next one is by Electro Boom. Uh, why use AC instead of DC at home? So it's uh, about the origins of mass-produced electricity and the feud between uh, Edison and Tesla. It's interesting, it's insightful, it's a cool video. You should probably watch it. And the next one is probably the biggest highlight of the year. At least it is for me and it's probably for most of us. It's the face reveal video by How to Basics. So, of course, I assume that most of you have seen it a bunch of times. At least once. But I, I just had to include it. I just had to include it because it's so amazing. And the next one is YouTube is Beyond Mismanaged, another video by Critical where he, well, everything is a title basically. There's a bunch of chumps from a stupid channel like talking to creators or, a, you know, one of these insulting channels where they pretend that they get us but then they talk a lot of bullshit that is really offensive and, and terrible and uh, so he an he analyzes this video and he gives his thoughts and uh, it's quite relieving to see uh, someone talking sense uh, compared to all the bullshit that we've had from uh, from this company for uh, the past two couple of years. The next is uh, a quite simple and really funny shit post, Me, You, You, Me by Jax Films. I will not explain it, you have to watch it yourself, it's really short, so... Uh, the next one is uh, Andrew Rea from Binging with Babish, reviewing the internet's most popular food videos. So uh, it's uh, another entertaining, surprising video. I didn't expect to like it, but um, yeah, it, it's uh, it's it's a funny video. It's a uh, it's a react video by uh, Andrew Rea from Binging with Babish on the Bon Appetit channel, great food channel, one of the best. Watch it if you like Andrew, and watch it if you like food videos, you'll probably be entertained. Rat fight. Uh, anyway, uh, next is The Potato Paradox by Vsauce2. A great video about a lesser known paradox, The Potato Paradox. If you like paradoxes, and, uh, you know, thoughts, if you like thinking and shit, well, the next is by Unilad Gaming. Yeah, I know, but, you know, once every couple years, BuzzFeed puts out a good article, like the one about uh, the, the puppies that uh, Corgi mixed race uh, mutts. I mean, it happens. It happens. This one is Unilad Gaming, and it's... Jeff Goldblum. 
doing video game impressions. And it's, well, it's pretty much what you'd expect. So, um, uh, the next is another critical video. He's on fire lately. And it's uh, one of these videos where he, um, you know, he does funny commentary on uh, advertisement or infomercials. And this one is called Picnic Ruiner. It's about a really, really stupid cooler concept. Um, I don't remember if, if it's from a Kickstarter or a TV ad, but um, yeah, really funny. Uh, the next, of course, I assume you've seen this one too. We're finishing March. We are now in April. And of course, it's April the 1st. It's Michael Stevens saying prime numbers for three hours. Um, at first, I wanted to make a, a YouTube poop-ish video out of this. And I started cutting every every time he says 69 in the video and I wanted to make a super cut of every time Michael Stevens say 69 in the video but uh, after uh, after an hour of video uh, it was <laughs> too much work so uh, instead I, I did the Vsauce power level video which we've probably seen if you watch this channel and this is yeah the video on the Dong channel with Michael Stevens saying prime number for three hours so it's a pretty nice um, April Fools. And uh, the next is another April Fools video by Marcus Brownlee, MKBHD, about a Bixby speaker. That's uh, it's pretty funny too. The next is another video by MKBHD about a, a camera that I totally forgot the name. It's just a pretty cool name. But yeah, it's a robot camera. I mean, it's not a robot camera, it's a robot, uh, that robot camera operator. It's a robot that is made to operate cameras and do, like, impossible angles and uh, some uh, really fast traveling and some really precise shit. And uh, it's on his uh, Dope Tech, you know, series of videos, and this is this one is really dope. The next one, oh, by... Che by I'm going to try to pronounce his name right. Chase Holfelder. Uh, one of my favorite YouTube musicians. Pretty underrated. And uh, he does a lot of really great covers. This one is a cover of Virtual Reality by Jamiroquai. Classic song of the 90s. And the kick, the kicker, the, the thing, the, the killer app of this video is that he does all the cover in virtual reality so um yeah it's virtual insanity by jamiroquai and he it's done in virtual reality like all the the instruments are in vr played in uh, with the vr and, and shit and um it's a great cover it's really funny it's a great concept it's really well done you should probably watch it the next one is uh, on first we feast again Philip DeFranco taking the the Hot Ones challenge, you know, with the s chicken wings that get spicier and spicier, and Philip is killing it. It's being really funny and uh, and really daring, and uh, my god, that ending, pretty impressive, really well, really well, uh, good. Uh -huh. I don't know. Next is. A remastered video from uh, our friends at Kurzgesagt, one of the best science channels on YouTube. And it's Time, the History and Future of Everything. So it's a video that they already did and they, well, remastered it. And yeah, it's a great video and if you haven't seen the original already, you should probably uh, watch it. It's a great insight on how time uh, works and, you know, our our past, mostly the past, but also a bit, a bit uh, the future. Uh, it's uh, science and history at the same time. It's really interesting, and it's really uh, it's it gives you a great sense of perspective on the flow of time. Next is uh, an episode of the H3H3 podcast. I usually don't like the H3 podcast. I think Ethan is not a great host. He's usually pushing the guest too hard 
or uh, seeming or, or he seems kind of bored or he's trying to uh, you know take the limelight on himself and he's kind of overwhelming but um, there has there have been a few good episodes especially the one with idubs which was the best one until April and this one is with Holly Morenstein one of my Heroes, one of my internet heroes, I've been watching Harley. Uh, Epic Mealtime is the first YouTube channel I subscribed to uh, lots of years ago. And um, he's a great guest. Uh, he, he w his episode on uh, Hot Ones was really, really great. And this episode of the podcast is really great. Um, I love Harley Morenstein and he's at he on the top of his game in this episode of the H3 podcast. The next video is Nintendo Before Video Games by Scott the Woz, um, a new video game YouTuber that is putting videos of extraordinary quality on a regular basis. I think it's once a week. And uh, yeah, he's, the new, he's probably gonna be the new video game YouTube star, him and uh, Nakey Jakey, they're both really great and this video is great, Scott the Woz is great and uh, it's uh, about Nintendo, what they did before they did video game because Nintendo is a very old company, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's famous, everyone knows that but what did they do before? Uh, well, watch this video to find out. Next is another video by the report of the week uh, running on MT it's our friend Review Bra reacting to fan art of himself, and it's probably it's maybe even greater than the, the the one about mean comments. This one is really really funny, and um, well, of course it's for fans of Review Bra. If you don't already know him at least a little, it probably won't be as entertaining as it is for people who know him, or. Are fans. I mean, if you're a fan, I assume you've already seen it, but if you, you know, are just someone who knows him a bit and likes him, you should probably watch this. It's one of the best videos he's put out lately. Next is a video by SciShow about why nutrition studies keep contradicting each other. If, like me, you're a, a fan of nutrition and uh, it's hard to find you know, reliable data, and it's hard to find uh, real studies that, that, that seem, you know, to be saying the same thing. There's a lot of contradiction. There's a lot of studies who sometimes say opposite things, like, for example, on uh, beef. A lot of studies are saying it's healthy. A lot of studies are saying it ain't on wine. A lot of studies are saying it's good for you. A lot are saying it's not. There's a lot of things like that, chocolate, of, of uh, oranges and fruit and butter and etc etc and why do nutrition studies keep contradicting each other and why does nutrition seems seem to be so uh, poorly researched and understood compared to other aspects of biology well this video is gives a great insight on why the next is the hidden meaning in the room by Wisecrack, so it's part of their Earthling cinema series where they have an, an alien from the stars uh, try to review Earth films. And um, this is an, uh, an alien's perspective, you know, on um, The Room by Tommy Wiseau. As, as funny as you'd expect. Next is a follow-up by Vsauce 2 on his potato paradox video because a lot of people are after seeing it said oh the potato paradox is not really a, a paradox because it has a logical explanation so uh, how can it be a paradox and so uh, Kevin explained in this video what are paradoxes because nonsensical sentences or you know uh, logical paradoxes are not the only paradoxes there is. When you think paradox, most of us think about Portal 2, you know, where you're in... SPOILER! If you haven't played Portal 2, you probably should have already, but when you're 
down uh, with Potato GLaDOS and trying to um, fight Wheatley and you th you're thinking of paradoxes, you know, that's not the only kind of paradox because those are only logical paradoxes. There's not, there's different kind of paradoxes and it's really well explained in this uh, video. The next one is, end of spoilers by the way, the next one is The World Design of Dark Souls by Mark Brown. I love Mark Brown. He's doing a lot of great videos on video game design. And uh, yeah, it's um, it's partly an exploration on, on the level design of Dark Souls. And also there's a parallel with uh, the design of the Zelda dungeons. And yeah, great videos. If you love Dark Souls, you'll love it. I'm a big fan of Dark Souls. And I also love Zelda. So... Uh, of course, this video was uh, huge for me. It works really well. It's uh, Mark Brown explains game design really well. That's it. Next is uh, a new angry video game nerd video, and it's a really long one. It's uh, 40 minutes long, and wow, it's the test of Earthbound. Because, yeah, the angry video game nerd doesn't only review shitty games. Sometimes, he reviews good ones. And, yeah, that's all, I, that's all I, I can say about it. It's a really great video. If you like the angry video game nerd, if you like video game reviews, they're funny and entertaining and offbeat. If you like Earthbound, or, you know, JRPGs, or basically... You should probably should watch it. It's a great video. For all my video game lovers out there, it's a great video. And uh, I think we are already at the bottom. No, there's a couple more. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one is another video by Electro Boom, which is kind of a follow-up to the precedent video about, you know, uh, alternative current versus direct current. And this one is the, about the definition of voltage and... Um, current. So uh, that that's it. If you ever wonder what does electric current mean, because it's not always, it's not as obvious as it seems. It's not just the flow of electrons, because there are many factors. You know, there's the speed. There are how many electrons are you know traveling at once. There's uh, the, the resistance, the um, all that shit, like. Most people don't really know what is a volt and what is an ampere, and that's really well explained in this video about, you know, electricity and electronics and physics and uh, the, the history of science. Great, Another great video by our friend at Electro Boom. And the last one is uh, by Exurb, I never know if it's Exurb 1A or Exurbia, because he never says his name out loud, but uh, it's this great, uh, you know, channel, which is like uh, half science, half British humor. And um, kind of, if you like Douglas Adams, you will love Exurbia, I guess. And basically, it's called uh, Meaning is a Jumper that you have to knit yourself. And uh, a jumper is kind of pullover, you know. And um, it's about meaning. It's about the meaning of life, you know. And uh, does life has, have a meaning? And if which, if, if yes, which one? And uh, do you have to find the meaning or do you have to make it yourself or... Uh, do you have, it's a mix of both, and uh, does life have to have a, a meaning or a purpose? This video explores uh, this question in 10 minutes, with a lot of humor and wit, and it's pretty great, I think. A lot of what he says is really obvious, but it's entertaining, so... Um, Maybe let's give it a watch. Maybe give it a watch. It's only 10 minutes. So, you know, that's the end of 
this video, by the way, which is much too long, I'll try to make the next one shorter. But, you know, I have a problem. My videos are too long. I, I, I don't know how to summarize things. I'm working on it. Please, um, uh, please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up if you thought that was interesting. And uh, please subscribe to my Patreon so I can um, purchase uh, summarizing lessons so my videos will not be as painfully long and tedious anymore. And um, see ya really soon. Peace.